Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Can you rename and move file by using one task? which is that task and how will you do that so this question is very simple question you can um, tell them okay this file system task is the uh, task that I can use it but uh, remember in file system task we have different operation that has a rename file that has move file so uh, that has copy file different options are available to us but if you haven't done this recently or you have never actually done it so you will come up with like okay so I can rename it the file first and then I can uh, use the next task file system task again to move the file but how they are asking only in one task you have to do the both operations so let's go to the SSDT and let me show you what exactly we need to use uh, and we use the file system task here and then uh, we go to the operations and inside the operations we see the rename file that's going to do the trick so we will select the rename file and then uh, as long as we provide uh, different source path and different destination path what this operation is going to do it is going to take a file move the file and rename so we will be using only one task to rename and move the file the next part we can use a script task the script will do the same thing we can use the script task we can move the file we can rename it after that whatever we want in so it will be one task that can do the both operations but the thing file system task is a built-in task script task we have to write some custom code by ourselves so if there is a task available to us always use that one and um, even I'm um, expert um, .NET developer and uh, I can um, do a lot of scripting why to waste the time when you have the task and uh, it, it give you the opportunity to use it in two seconds why you want to spend 10 minutes and uh, write a code in that one so these both that tasks can be used to perform this task and uh, but I will recommend using file system task and uh, that's how the answer should be um, I have a complete post on this one where you read multiple files from a source and then you want to add a date time to each of the file and then move them to the uh, destination folder I have a video as well if you will go to SSIS videos uh, in the sqla.blogspot.com or you will click uh, right next to the uh, answer of this uh, video link uh, you will see it post there and you can visit that one and learn that how to do that thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video